Hey guys, and welcome back to the MedBros channel. And today we're gonna to be addressing something I see in our comments and especially in Corbidi's comments. And that is, how does it seem like we do everything? But before we get into that, a quick word from our sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators with thousands of classes in design, business, and much more. Premium memberships give you unlimited access. So you can join the classes and communities that are just right for you. You can join more than 7 million creators learning with Skillshare. You can join groups to learn with like-minded learners give and receive feedback on projects, and speak with others with the same interests as you. We're really excited to get into some more skits starting this Christmas break when Beneath and Shaman come back, and we wanted to make our stuff look really good. So I've been watching this do-it-yourself cinematography class by Ryan Booth to make our videos look like movies. So hopefully our skits will look a lot better. And Skillshare is giving a two-month unlimited access free trial to the MedBro subscribers using the link in the description box of this video. And after that, it's only around $10 a month. So make sure you check it out and let's get right into this video. So how does it seem like Shaman, Beneath, and I do well in medical school, have time to go to the gym, have time to do extracurricular activities, volunteer work, research, have hobbies like play basketball, keep up with things like movies and recent news, uh, have a social life, have a family life, and the list goes on. Well, the key here is, notice I said it seems like it. And if this is something you've been struggling with, let me make your life a lot less stressful. The absolute reality is, that this balance is just not possible. The unfortunate truth is we are all limited by one common denominator and that is time. Time is what limited Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Einstein, Marie Curie, you name it. Everyone had to come up with the fight against time. And if time limited these individuals, it's sure as hell gonna limit us. So the key here is, is how do you use that allotted time and distribute it in a way that is most effective? The first key step, which may be the hardest of all, is to determine what is your number one goal. Do you value your career, your scientific inquisitiveness, your drive to delve into a frontier of exploration and discovery? Or will you choose to pursue your athletic ambitions, your passion for being the best gamer that ever lived? Maybe it's art. What is your number one pursuit? Once you have identified your life's mission, there are a couple options on how to undertake this expedition. Option number one, invest your all into this one singular goal. You give up your soul for this craft. You live and breathe this one aspiration. There is no time away from your hustle. Countless scientific discoveries, athletic goats, billionaires all use this strategy. There's no work-life balance. There's just work. This is the single most effective strategy to get that one thing that you want. Although you better be sure that you want it considering what you give up. Option two, you choose life. You choose to let your world flow itself. If you wanna work, you work. If you don't, you live life. You are okay with the way things will turn out. And while your dreams may never be realized, your realistic aspirations may be satisfactorily achieved. You can still be happy with this path. And in fact, you may experience life in ways that people down another path might not experience. But at the same time, you may be left wondering, what if? Oh, well. Whatever happens, happens. These individuals can still become doctors, lawyers, businessmen, and all the like, but they live by their own terms. Gym today, sure. Gym never, sure. KFC again, why not? Option number three, and what is gonna be the focus of this video and what we call work-life balance. This is the option I currently choose. We are given one life and there are always going to be more doctors, scientists, discoveries, and humanity will progress into the future with or without you. But there's only one you and you're here for that finite amount of time. The key to having this balance is to understand what is possible and what are your limitations. And I wanna go through an example with you on exactly what I mean as work-life balance. So let's say you're in medical school and it's a typical week. It's not exam week, you're not overly busy. It's just your typical medical school week. How would we get work-life balance? So during this typical week, there's gonna be time for studying as always, but you should be able to fit in gym about three times that week. Maybe after class, whatever is more convenient for you. There should be time to get groceries the Sunday of that week and then go ahead and meal prep and you will have a healthy meal throughout the week. Friday, you can set aside some time to hang out with friends and play basketball. I enjoy listening to podcasts so I can listen to them on my way to class, on my drive. After I finish a long day of studying on Saturday, I can watch a movie after. I can make sure throughout the week to find time to make some calls and texts to my friends and family to stay in touch. 
And on Sunday, I can shoot a video and edit it for the Med Bros channel. Putting all that on a calendar and having discipline to carry out with it, there's a lot of time during the week to do all of those things. Let's see what happens when the week gets a little more rough. So next week is going to be an exam week and I made the decision to not do some of the things that I would do on another typical week. I can still get groceries on Sunday and meal prep to make sure I'm still eating healthy. But there's gonna be no gym this week. There's no way I'm gonna have time for that. But I do set aside two 10 minute cardio sessions in the week, maybe before I get into the shower. Just something simple to keep my body up. I definitely don't have time to hang out with my friends this week and less conversation with my family, unfortunately. This week is going to be all about grinding out studying. I can still listen to my podcast on the way to school. I can still get mini breaks to watch episodes of The Office or a couple YouTube clips. And then I have time to detox myself with some music before I go to bed. But this week, I have a mental understanding that I'm gonna put aside gym and other unnecessary things that are not critical to my week this week. And I'm gonna more focus on my studying and making sure I do well this week for my classes. And this is not cramming. I was still finding time to study last week. It's just this week, I'm really gonna ramp it up and put some other things on the back seat. And the next week, which is more of a typical week, I'm just gonna start up my same usual schedule. The gym comes back, everything gets going again, and we continue on. This seems like a very simple way of thinking when I'm saying it out like this, but there are a lot of pitfalls that people fall into and they don't follow this strategy. For example, someone during that second week might get really down on themselves that they didn't go to the gym, that even they didn't eat right or whatever it may be. The key is to be very understanding of what the limitations are so you don't feel like that. If you do feel like that, you might have a propensity next week to not go to the gym as well. You might feel down, you might feel like you're not making progress, but if you have that mental agreement that this week is going to be a study week and I'm getting back to it next week, you will be much more motivated next week to hit it just as hard. With this way, there is less punishing yourself for cheating in terms of eating wrong or missing out on the gym because you have prioritized and made progress in another field. You've done well on your exam. It's a give and take. It's a malleable, very free flowing, kind of way of life. With this strategy, you are actually making progress in multiple avenues. You are getting better at more. You are growing as a whole and you are living and you are working. Adjustment, malleability, and discipline, and an understanding of time is essential to make this strategy work. This is the quality of renaissance. With this strategy, your progress will take longer. The bar is going to be going up at a slower pace, but you have more bars as a whole going up. You are the Mario of life, a true renaissance man or woman. I do think this is the hardest path of all and the much less trodden path. No choice is gonna be the right choice. The preference is all up to you and what you want out of life. And you're also not stuck going down one path for the rest of your life. It is very adjustable. Early on, I was really focused on singular goals and now I've expanded to being this more all encompassing individual. And I can totally see myself wanting to slip back into focusing on one goal or just living life. It's all malleable and it all is adjusting over time. So when this idea of balancing everything comes up, just have an understanding that it is just not possible. While it may seem like, seem like we're balancing medical school, gym, all these things, everyone has their strengths and weaknesses and it's up to you to decide what those strengths and weaknesses are gonna be for you. So don't get frustrated with yourself and don't give into the illusion and find yourself some work-life balance. Thank you guys so much for listening. I truly appreciate all the support we've had ever since we've really opened up the Med Bros channel. I hope you guys continue to support us. And if you're new here, make sure to join the Med Bros and hit that subscribe button. And with that guys, take care and we'll see you guys in the next one.